Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to convert metric units of capacity. And specifically, we're going to be working with milliliters and liters. And a milliliter is about the size of a large drop of water, a large raindrop. And then a liter is about two bottles of water. And if you think about um, at the grocery store or maybe at your house, you may have some two liter bottles of pop. So half of that bottle, the two liters are the, the bigger bottles of pop. So when we're ta talking metric, the metric system, our metric units of uh, measurement, there's always a base unit or sometimes called a basic unit. And that's going to be our liter. It's what everything's based off of. And when we're talking milliliters, we have a pre prefix there, milliliter. So the milli means one thousandth of a liter. So the prefix means, again, one thousandth of a liter. So one liter equals a thousand milliliters. So let's do some conversions. So for number one, we have three liters equals how many milliliters? Well, if one of these liters equals a thousand milliliters, we have three of them. So we need to do three times a thousand, which gives us 3,000. So three groups of a thousand milliliters equals that 3,000 milliliters. Number two, eight liters equals how many milliliters? Well, we have a group of a thousand milliliters plus a thousand plus a thousand eight times, or we could do eight times a thousand, which equals 8,000 milliliters. Number three, we're gonna go the opposite way. So we have 5,000 milliliters and we're converting it to liters. So we can think of this, we have 5,000 and we need to split it into groups of a thousand. Each one of those groups of a thousand is a liter. So we need to do 5,000 divided by a thousand. And that's going to give us five liters. Number four, same thing. We have 18,000 milliliters that we need to split into groups of a thousand. Each one of those groups of a thousand is a liter. So 18,000 divided by a thousand gives us 18 liters. Number five, 4,000 milliliters. Again, splitting into groups of a thousand. Each of those thousands is a liter. So four liters. And lastly, seven liters equals how many milliliters? Well, each liter is a thousand milliliters. So we need to do seven times a thousand, right? Seven groups of a thousand. So that's going to give us 7,000 milliliters. So there you have it. There's how you convert between milliliters and liters, both metric units of capacity. And again, that liter is our base unit when it comes to the metric system and capacity. And that milliliter is one thousandth of a liter. That milli, the prefix, means one thousandth. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.